Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's daily, I should say, evening tarot love read. We're looking at an evening tarot love reading tonight. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, I just felt uh, felt kind of guided to to come out and to do this recording a little bit later in the day. Um, so it would be an evening tarot love reading. I'm not sure exactly why yet, but anytime um, I'm kind of guided like that, I just go with it. So. Yeah, anyway, my imagination is is uh, alert right now. It's very alive. Um, I kind of mentioned in the affirmation reading that I did earlier uh, that uh, I've been watching right, some impossible engineering on the Science Channel, right? And I'm just blown, completely blown away by what mankind has been able to create. Uh, these absolutely incredible structures and machinery and equipment um, and transportation. I mean, it's above ground and underground. I mean, I, I like, it's like, you know, you think, where would you even start, right, to figure something like that out? Um, and then we had the, uh, the affirmation card, which was creativity, and it talked about everybody having their own unique gift that they bring into this world, right, to share with the world. And that's truly how it all happens. It's just this combination of millions and millions of people that are um, taking what their their gift, they, what they have to share, and what they're bringing into this into this world, right? And they're adding that component to it in order to create this fabulous, huge, mega structure. You know, it's never just um, a single individual, right? It's always a combination of countless numbers of individuals and creativity and connection. Anyway, so I've been thinking a lot about that, and it also gets me thinking quite a bit about the like the Akashic records. You know, I mean, it's 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 fascinating just as we look at where we're going with science and technology, and like the things that we're doing today, right? Splitting the atom, and you know, having it uh, go around around underground at the speed of light and such in order to break it and split it. I mean, and I don't even know if I'm describing it correctly right or accurately but anyways um, it's crazy when we think about just everything that we're doing in order to better understand our existence right our meaning and our purpose and uh, maybe to in order to better understand on why, why and how is it exactly that a person's thoughts can control the physical outcome of something right it's invisible it's, it's, it's magic we're trying to we're trying to better understand the magic and then some, and then you know and then there's some that just want to use the magic right they want to connect with it so anyways it's pretty fascinating and you know the Akashic records they're no exception um, everything that's ever taken place or existed right and forever it can be accessed right by really each and every one of us um, it's just a matter of being able to teach and train ourselves exactly how we go about doing that. Or maybe it's just about arriving at a place where we can fully and completely allow ourselves to connect to it. Because honestly, I think that has more to do with it, right? Um, than any, rather than there, there being right this rigidity and this routine and this specific way of doing something, I don't think that the emphasis is on that. I think the emphasis is more on the person's intention, right? Um, and as well as the person's, let's just call it blind faith. So anyways, that's just kind of my experience, right? That's kind of my truth. So thank you for allowing me to share it with you. Okay. So today is May the 30th. It's Thursday. The time is 5.45 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, so yeah, we're gonna call this an evening tarot love read. It was kind of funny, so 
just a little while ago, my, uh, my daughter came by and she brought Indy over here with her, right? So when she walked in the door, Indy came right in here in my office. And the first thing she did is she jumped right up here on my desk, like, you know, she goes from the floor to my knee to the desk and she just makes herself at home. Uh, my daughter was totally taken back by that of just how comfortable she was. It was like, she was kind of shocked to see her just do that on, you know, on autopilot, so to speak. Anyways, it was kind of funny. Okay. It's a great affirmation. Um, I think we had this affirmation possibly yesterday or maybe even the day before. Confidence. Uh, important affirmation. The number 32, which reduces to a five. Five's an important number. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. I do remember this because we talked about the orange, right? How I really like the orange and I've always loved orange and as a kid I loved orange. Okay, so I want to read real quickly to us. To us uh, from the guidebook on this affirmation because I feel like there's just more to be said there's just I'm finding more and more I'm feeling more and more of the significance and the value of these affirmations as it pertains specifically to the tarot readings there's just so much wisdom right and understanding in here guidance and insight Ah, confidence, that glorious feeling of being able to walk forward and understand you are a powerful, unique individual with the full support of the universe, yet be one who walks gently upon the earth and goes gently amidst the other beings with whom you share the planet. Confidence is such a blessing when it is backed up with integrity and kindness. We all deserve to feel confidence in our lives, to feel we have a right to be here, to be seen, to be heard, and to be respected just as we are. When you cast the spell, you will feel love, support, and magic all about you. You will stand strong and firm upon the earth and within your life. You will be seen, heard, known, and respected. If this spell has chosen you, the universe is asking you to believe in yourself. Just as it believes in you and your worth, cast this spell. To know and believe your strengths, and begin to cherish that which makes you different. Confidence is all about enjoying the undeniable fact. That you are not like anyone else in some very important ways and your contribution is important to the evolution of the planet. Understanding and knowing that you have a purpose and that you are needed will help you bloom and do and be more than ever before. If you have chosen this spell, you may worry far too much about how others see you. Consequently, you may judge yourself harshly or compare yourself unfavor unfavorably with unfounded, idealistic, or unreasonable expectations. Please cast this spell and be awakened to the unique magic of your own sacred self. The universe knows you are wonderful, valuable, and needed. This spell is an invitation to believe it for yourself. Wow, great affirmation. I could feel the truth in that affirmation. And I related with, with much of it. You know, where we talk about, you know, um, holding ourselves at such a high standard and, and just um, setting some unrealistic, unrealistic expectations on ourselves. I get that. It's kind of speaking my language, speaking to me at that point. Um, yeah, so earlier today, and I haven't done this for quite a while. I used to do it a, a lot. Um, but uh, I, so I, sometimes, I, so back in the day, last year or so, I used to do when I was learning and, and better familiarizing myself with tarot and such, um, I used, used to do a lot of reads on myself in my own life. And for months now, I have I've like stepped away from doing that. Um, and earlier today, I decided to do that. Uh, so I came out and I did a reading on myself and I was real clear on the question uh, that I was asking. And you know, it's really tricky because it's you're doing a reading on yourself, so it's really important for you to be able to remove yourself from the outcome of the reading, right? And to do that at the beginning of the reading, which I felt like I was able to do pretty effectively today. And it was just, it was amazing how, how much truth came out in that reading, um, right? Truth that I was able to connect with and, and, and I could feel the truth of it in it. Um, yeah, just incredibly accurate. So 
anyways, kind of got me a little bit excited because I haven't done that, you know, for myself in my own life for quite some time. So maybe that's something I need to be doing more of. Just saying. Okay, opening energy taking us into today's tarot love reading is the Eight of Swords. So Eight of Swords is a limiting energy, right? It represents the energy of, of fear, right? This is fear and worries and concerns. She, the figure in the card appears to be held captive by these ravens. Uh, but if you look closely, her binds are pretty loose. She could wiggle herself free probably at any time. I'm gonna turn the music down just a notch because I think it might be too loud. It looks like she could wiggle herself free at any time, remove her blindfold and step away from those swords, right? But in order to do that, she has to choose to do that, right? So this is always a choice. Fear is always a choice. Not that there aren't things outside of ourselves that could cause us fear, but it's up to us whether or not that's something that we actually feel and experience at the time. All right, tell us more. Tell us more. Maybe, huh? The cards really make me earn them today. cards here we have the knight of swords so the knight of swords represents an air sign quality so aquarius gemini or libra doesn't have to be like 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 all night energies it's an energy you can count on showing up right and this energy he comes in on a white horse right but he comes flying in on a horse with wings so there's some it seems like there's a little bit of urgency right to this it's, it looks like it's a truth that's coming in, right? That's usually what the Knight of Swords brings. It's some kind of truth. Okay, coming in next to the Knight of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is a good energy. It represents the energy of, uh, if you look at the figure in the card, she's been working in the field, working hard in order to manifest these Seven Pentacles. And now that she's manifested them, right? She's taken time to sit back and to rest, and reflect upon what she's manifested. She's deciding, do I want to manifest more of the same, right? Or do I want to change whatever it is I'm manifesting? Okay, coming in at the center of today's tarot love reading, so a pretty important energy. We have the high priestess. High priestess is a beautiful card, beautiful energy. This is the universe letting you know that your intuition is speaking to you, right? To trust your intuition. Uh, High Priestess is about, also about creating new beginnings. She's surrounded by, by butterflies, right? She brings enlightenment and understanding, right? Just a matter of being up to us to allow ourselves to connect to it. And then once we connect to it, to trust it. And then once we trust it, right? Then allow the unseen energy, right? Magic that allows manifestation to happen. Okay, coming in next to the High Priestess, we have the King of Swords. So King of Swords represents air sign energy. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. King, so we think male energy again. It doesn't have to be. 
Uh, King of Swords is uh, great energy. It's the kind of energy that you can trust, that you can stand behind. He's a pretty serious, kind of a um, kind of a stern energy in many ways, right? He's not one to really get sidetracked or distracted, right, with with gossip and uh, things uh, w things that he would consider to be wasted energy, right? He sticks to the facts. He sticks to what he knows to be true, right? The facts is logical truth, and that it's his truth that sets him free. But I don't know. He looks. He sits pretty sternly and pretty serious here at this uh, here at his throne. That's just really standing out to me today is how serious and stoic he's he's appearing to be. Okay, beautiful. Well, we just got what many argue they say is the most favorable energy of the whole deck. It's the Sun card, which is the card of Leo. Right? So some of you could be in a relationship with a Leo, or you may be seeking a Leo. Beautiful card, beautiful energy. Again, what are we looking at? It butterflies, right? So we're looking at rebirth of some sort. Um, this is, uh, I describe this energy as living life with childlike enthusiasm, right? It's the chance to be a kid again as an adult. And it doesn't make you childish, it just makes you childlike, which brings about your kind of an innocence and a purity to you, right? Um, in a way, kind of a naive energy in many ways where you just move through life with full of faith and full of trust and without fear. It's a beautiful energy. That's why it trumps all other energies. Okay. Coming in under the Knight of Swords, we have the World card, right? This has been a card that's been coming up pretty, pretty frequently, um, pretty consistently in the Tarot Love readings, right? So, so I feel like that it's true for many of you, right? This is a graduation time. This is a time that the universe is uh, letting you know that there have been a series of lessons that were put in place for you to go through and to experience in order to give you the opportunity to grow, right? I feel like each one of these lights that illuminate the sky represent the different lessons. And this is the universe letting you know that you passed, right? You passed the test. You've accepted the growth. You've embraced the growth. She sits on top of the world in her lotus pose, listening to the Om of the universe. It's beautiful energy. It's kind of interesting, right? It's the card of graduation, and it, as it turns out, my niece right at this moment is graduating from high school. It's kind of fun. Okay, now we have the star card, and the star card is coming in under the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, star card represents the card of Aquarius, right? So some of you could be seeking a relationship with an Aquarius, or you may be an Aquarius. Uh, could have your moon or your rising in this uh, in this zodiac. It's a beautiful card and a beautiful energy. This is about manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. Um, it's fantastic, and she's serious about manifesting too. She's a balanced energy. She makes it known with showing that one, she has one foot in the water, one foot on dry land. She pours one cup in the water, one cup on dry land. She makes sure she's standing underneath eight stars, eight representing good fortune and good luck. Yeah, so she's she's pretty serious about what she's manifesting. I say she, it means he or she though. Okay, coming in at the center of today's Tarot Love reading, coming in under the High Priestess card, we have the Page of Cups. So, Page of Cups is a good good energy. Pages represent messengers, right? So this is news coming into somebody, and it's cups, 
cups represent emotions, feelings, and love. She's up to her waist in the water and she's standing under a full moon. So there's a lot of emotion and a lot of feeling in this energy, right? She has a water lily in front of her that's illuminated. It has a message in it. She's peering into it, trying to read the message. She's unable to read it right now. It's too soon. But it's a message that's coming in to somebody, right? Regardless, it's a message of love. Tell us more. Tell us more. Okay. So coming in underneath the King of Swords, we have the Moon card, which is the card of Pisces, right? So some of you could be a Pisces. You could be seeking a relationship with the Pisces. So the energy in this card, right, it can mean a couple different things. It can may represent, some things may appear to be a little bit of an illusion at this point, right? There may not, you may not have the kind of clarity um, that, uh, that you've anticipated having or that you thought you had. Um, that you're operating off the light from the moon, which is a limited lighting. The other thing this can represent, um, in a tarot reading, when the moon card comes out with the sun card, right, in many cases it can represent a twin flame kind of reading, right, because we have the total illumination next to the moon card. Um, that's been my understanding of that. So, and then the last thing that this energy can represent is a willingness to face and embrace some of our deepest seated limitations. We all have them within us. They're things like abandonment, right, inadequacies and such. Uh, a willingness to face and confront those limitations, which takes tremendous courage. Coming in underneath the Sun card, we have the Death card, which is the card of Scorpio. Uh, so some of you could maybe a Scorpio, you may be seeking a relationship with a Scorpio. Uh, beautiful card, beautiful energy in the, turn, in the sense that this represents something coming to an ending or to a completion in somebody's life, right? And ending and completion is not, it's nothing that happens prematurely, it's happening in the time that it should be happening, right? And endings, completions happen in order to free up energy and space in our life to allow new energies in, right? New beginnings represented by the light piercing through the sky, piercing through even death itself, illuminating the headstone, right? It's an inscription on the headstone, it's written in Latin, but translated it says, life is changed, not taken. So that's kind of a, this is a transformational kind of energy. Okay, energy taking us out of today's tarot love reading is the Six of Swords. Uh, Six of Swords it represents the energy of like the figure in the card, right? She's been in battle and she's chosen to lie down her swords and to walk away from one thing in order to walk towards something different, right? So she's lying down swords uh, and these swords could be, you know, judgments, opinions, um, they could be connected to, to anger, to resentment, to, to angst of some sort. It's a willingness to allow yourself to let go of those limiting energies, right? In order to free up your energy to walk towards the light. Okay. 
Okay, so I have today's tarot love reading done. I need to take a minute and I need to look at it, see where the cards are in terms of relationship to one another. And I need to kind of see and feel what it is they're trying to share by way of message. And then I can share the whole reading with you start to finish. So hang tight for just a moment here and uh, I'll come right back. You can listen to the soothing sounds of background music, which I'm gonna go ahead and turn up a notch again, or you can um, fast forward, totally up to you, thanks. Yeah, so I really like this this tarot reading today. Um, it's pulled me right into it. I like it a lot because as I'm looking at the reading and going through it, it is all about somebody connecting with their confidence, right? Uh, it's like it's like the work is done, right? You've done you've done all the work in order to have this this confidence but you're allowing yourself to to be in some ways feel somewhat stuck and you're and what's causing you to feel stuck is the opening energy taking us into the reading today which is fear right fear and worries and concerns yeah it's just a matter of recognizing this energy and taking into consideration you know i mean what they say about fear is um well, I was thinking of a couple things, right? I was thinking of the Janis Joplin quote uh, that uh, freedom is just another way of saying nothing left to lose. Um, you know, that's that's the total surrender philosophy. And personally, I've used that philosophy at different times in my life, and it it has served me well at times. Right, so that may be what it takes, but just recognizing this energy and this fear that it's just it's holding you back. So you have a truth coming into you, right? Coming in by way of the Knight of Swords. It's an understanding. It's a truth that has everything to do with you recognizing the fact that you're graduating, right? The universe recognizing that you're graduating and allowing these energies to pass, right? And there's no sense in going through and reinventing the will again of, of re-experiencing things that we've already experienced. It's about taking on new change, right? New energies. Stepping into a time in your life where, just like the figure in the, in the card on the Seven of Pentacles, right? She's been manifesting, she's manifested these Seven Pentacles. And now she's sitting back and she's resting in between work and she's thinking about what she wants to manifest next. And she's being reminded by the universe that you can, at this particular time, you have the ability to manifest all of your hopes and dreams, all of your wishes. So this is the direction you should be going, right? It's just enlightening you to that understanding. universe letting you know to trust your intuition right that it's speaking to you right um, giving you guidance giving you insight and direction into your life right also connected to that intuition is the page of cups which is a message of love right it's coming into you um, so be looking out for this message right it's in your atmosphere 
coming in. It's uh, You're unable to read it quite yet, but uh, coming in nonetheless. It's your intuition that guides you to this. So keep in mind, right, this is, these, this is the reading based on the energies today. Assuming a choices and such haven't been made yet, right? So this is just kind of giving you a forecast of what's ahead. And now it's up to you on the choices, which is, it's a, that's a beautiful thing. So then we have the King of Swords, which he stands by his truth. It's his truth that sets him free. And I think that what has brought him his truth is he's faced and embraced some of those limitations that we talked about earlier, right? Limitations of fear of abandonment, right? inadequacies, codependencies. Um, he's went through that journey. He's experienced those energies and, and now he's taking, he's taken on that wisdom and that serves him as his truth because it gave him a better understanding of himself and who he truly is, and what he's really capable and made of. Okay, now we have two beautiful energies, right? Right above and below one another. We have the Sun card, which is the card of Leo, and the Death card, which is the card of Scorpio, right? Allowing something in your life to come to an ending, right? Allow the fear to pass, right? It's fear-related, it's fear-based, whatever this ending is, right? It's all connected to fear. So uh, whatever, whatever that is that's holding you up in life that you're fearful of, face it by all means. Embrace it, overcome it, and allow it to pass so that you can take on the energy of the sun. And you can now move through life without fear, right? With that childlike enthusiasm, that sense of limitlessness. It's beautiful energy that serves you well. Okay, giving you the opportunity, right? To walk away from one thing towards something totally different and new. Right? You're walking away from past disappointments and failures of the past, past setbacks. Right? You're stepping forward and you're walking forward with faith and with trust, trusting yourself and trusting the universe, trusting in this new beginning that's coming. Okay, guys, I'm done with this read. I really like this read today. Um, I hope it resonated with all of you. I hope that, you know, because these reads, I mean, they're... I like to think that they're for everybody. They're for those of us that are seeking that that soulmate in our life, that twin flame, that special person, right? It's also for those that already have that relationship. Um, you're just looking to raise your vibration. Um, and it's for those that aren't necessarily seeking anybody. You're just looking to raise your vibration and kind of take in the insight and the messages that are shared in this reading. Anyways, I hope that... In, in some way, each and every one of you were able to connect to some of the energies that were shared in this reading. Um, and I hope that you find these messages in this reading very helpful and beneficial to you. Uh, beneficial in a way that brings more joy and more happiness in your life and brings more, attracts more love and abundance. Keep in mind, this is a, uh, it's a general read for the collective. It's not a personal reading. I do offer personal readings. I charge $60 and I provide you a 30 minute read. I send you a private link to your reading. Um, if you're interested in getting one of those, they're kind of fun. Uh, just send me an email at tarotloveandabundance at gmail. It's in the description below. Um, I want to thank all of you for all of your uh, continued love and support that you provide here on the channel. All your beautiful comments, right, to, my, to me and to each other, uh, which I just love to see gets me so excited and jazzed up. I love to see unconditional love, right? And compassion and understanding being shared among strangers, right? Through this soul family that we've kind of brought together on this channel. So I don't know, it makes me feel lucky and blessed. So for those of you that have contributed and donated towards the channel, thank you so much. Your donations make a tremendous difference for me, large or small, because this is what I do. Um, you know, as each of us work on trying to find out and connect with whatever it is our talent is that we have to bring and offer the world, right? I kind of feel like I've connected with mine and found mine. And so a few months ago, I created this channel and started sharing these readings. 
um, with the hopes, right, that you guys would be receptive to, to the messages here and the energies and receptive to my energy and my style and such. Um, yeah, and it's been going very well, and so I'm, I'm very grateful for that. And you guys have made all that possible, so I can't extend my gratitude enough to all of you. Okay, guys, it's a beautiful day today. Getting ready to step into the weekend. Have a fantastic evening. I hope you enjoyed today's, uh, or this evening's Tara Love Read.